Jungkook appeared on the news for falling asleep during a live stream. Suga revealed he can't perform in China, that's because K-pop idols were banned in China. Jungkook wrote a letter for ARMY saying that the past 10 years were just the beginning. Jimmy's message for ARMY, J-Hope also sent fans a message from the military. Hype rejected Daegu via Suga's birthplace to use the BTS members to promote the city. The popularity of a few K-pop groups has led to a surge in cosmetic procedures. A former EXO member caused outrage after signing an album for a fan as some people consider he has no longer the right to do so. And insiders revealed that Watch Entertainment rejected Marvel's offer for Jenny to appear in a Marvel movie. But before that, here is the funny moment of the day. <laughs> Jungkook appeared on the news for falling asleep during a live stream. Just when admirers thought their affection for BTS's Jungkook could not grow any stronger, they were caught off guard with an unplanned live stream session. On the 12th of June, Jungkook once more brought joy to his followers by joining a WeWords live session. This much loved star interacted with his fans discussing a variety of subjects and responding to the comments live. Nevertheless, the WeWords live session with Jungkook had yet more surprises in store. Amidst the live stream, Jungkook suddenly fell asleep, napping for a total of 21 minutes before he stirred awake and closed off the stream. This endearing incident stole the hearts of viewers all around the globe, with over 6 million fans tuned in to watch Jungkook's charming sleep episode. Followers from different parts of the world even shared additional videos of themselves watching Jungkook's nap. One such video showing fans watching him sleep while out at the club is rapidly gaining popularity. Interestingly, the video featuring Jungkook's nap made it to the news in the Netherlands, sparking amusement among the internet community. Suga revealed he can't perform in China. BTS and Suga has recently sparked interest on the internet with his remarks regarding the complications that prevent some K-pop artists from promoting or performing in China. Following a performance for his August D-Day tour, Suga conducted a live broadcast during which he engaged in a conversation with fans while enjoying a meal. Understandably, amidst the tour, Fans expressed their wishes for places they'd like Suga to visit, many of which he could not, due to the constraints brought about by the pandemic. As he discussed the reasons preventing him from visiting many locations, Suga began acknowledging the numerous flags he could see in the comment section, including China's. During the interaction, Suga expressed rather abruptly that performing in China was not feasible for him. Suga pointed out that it's common for K-pop bands to comprise members from various countries, including Koreans, Chinese, and individuals of other nationalities. However, when it comes to promoting in China or conducting work there, it remains an impossible task, even if the group consists of Chinese members. Suga elaborated that while the Chinese members might be allowed to work in China, the group as a whole cannot. Considering these restrictions, it was unsurprising that Suga expressed a longing to return to China and perform for his armies, although it remains a challenge for Korean artists. Although it may seem strange that idols can freely perform in China, especially with a considerable number of Chinese idols, it is primarily due to an informal Hallyu ban. Over recent years, China has implemented this informal ban on Hallyu, rendering it nearly impossible for K-pop artists to promote or perform physically in the country. While this has somewhat relaxed recently, it remains in effect. Suga's assertions have been further substantiated by the situation involving ESPA member Ning Ning, who was recently seen filming for an upcoming Chinese survival show where she speculated to be a mentor. Although Suga's explanation perfectly describes why Chinese idols like ESPA's Ning Ning, as well as members from Seventeen and Wei V can promote, it does not correlate with the announcements made about other idols. The recent announcement of a fanzine event in China for Lil Sarah Pim and the inclusion of the group in the Tencent Music Entertainment Awards lineup, featuring non-Chinese idols such as Big Bang Stay Young, Psy, and Treasure, puzzled internet users. These instances could indicate a positive shift in the relationship between the two countries and the informal Hallyu ban. Nevertheless, Suga's statement remains a powerful explanation as to why it's nearly impossible to witness a K-pop group promoting in China. Jungkook wrote a letter for ARMY saying that the past 10 years were just the beginning. BTS's Jungkook composed a sincere message to fans expressing his gratitude to ARMY for their unwavering support over the past decade. BTS marked their 10th anniversary on June 12th. Despite his modest start, 
the group has arguably emerged as the most triumphant K-pop band in history. Earlier, we mentioned that BTS's RM banned the ladder to celebrate the group's significant milestone. Not long after, the band's cherished youngest member, Jungkook, also authored his own heartfelt message. In his message, Jungkook contemplates the past 10 years. Although he confesses he can recall every detail, he reassures fans that his memories reside in his heart. He wrote about the deep emotional letters from fans, and after considering how to respond, he decided to express himself genuinely. He acknowledges the vast array of experiences he has shared with ARMY, and while it sometimes feels like a long journey, a whole decade has passed, in what seems like a blink of an eye. Although he can recall every moment with absolute clarity, he's confident that if he revisits each event, he remembered them all. Focusing on the present, he admits so quickly forgetting the past. But if someone brings up a memory, he will recognize it. He reiterates that these memories are merely on a brief hiatus and they all reside in his heart. Jungkook goes on to express his gratitude to fans for their decade-long support explaining how he can envision life without the fans who have stood by his side throughout. He suggests that the rapid passage of 10 years is a testament to the immense fan they've had because time tends to slow down when you're not enjoying yourself. He credits the army for making the past 10 years fly by and thanks them for their unwavering support. He expresses his hopes for the health and well-being of both ARMY and BTS members and looks forward to continuing their journey together, nurtured by mutual love. He mentions how his personality has evolved over time and concludes with a forward-looking statement implying that the past 10 years were just the beginning and they're ready to take on the next 20. Jimmy's message for ARMY BTS has successfully reached this 10-year milestone, a remarkable accomplishment indeed. Despite each member currently engaged in their individual activities, they made it a point to connect with fans on this special day. Jimin shared a heartfelt letter with fans on the WeWorks community, expressing his thoughts about reaching this significant landmark. He addressed his fans and marveled at how decade has passed since they first met when he was only 19 and is now 29. He acknowledged that, despite feeling similar internally to when he was 19, his physical self has grown. He emphasized his longing for the fans. He reminisced about the times they wondered what it would be like to reach their 10th and 20th anniversaries and expressed that not much has changed, rather things have gotten better. Feeling a bit emotional after watching Jin on Suchwita, he expressed a sense of joy rather than sadness because it feels like they're steadily building something together with everyone. Although it's challenging to articulate his feelings, he confirmed the immense happiness his fans have brought him. He tried to put into words the feelings of reaching each anniversary, noting it's not an exaggerated reaction but a quiet acknowledgement of, so we're here now. He acknowledged the difficulty of translating these emotions into words. Initially, he felt a sense of stagnation since last year, which led to a bit of melancholy. But he realized that they're all in this together, contemplating about each other from their respective places and constantly taking on new challenges. Recently, he's been thoroughly happy, even though he misses the fans even more. He's curious about what everyone is up to and their concerns. He regrets not being able to connect with them more frequently, but reassured them that they are always in his thoughts. Reflecting on the past years, he realized that approaching the 10th year felt distinct. It represented a tangible achievement that was easy to understand and share. This realization made him happy and motivated him to work harder to maintain this relationship. He acknowledged fans' unconditional love, support and strength emphasizing that it's not something everyone can provide. He stressed how fortunate they are to receive this support. He insists that the fans who have helped them feel this way must also experience overwhelming happiness and love. In his final words, he expresses endearing attitude and love for armies, encouraging them to cherish their happiness for a long time. Job's letter for fans from the military Recently, BTS's J-Hope banned a letter from his military service, is standing greeting to fans on the occasion of BTS's 10th anniversary. The letter was displayed on WeWorks, including an envelope addressed to fans. Job reached out to his fans with a carefully prepared letter, inquiring about their well-being during the initial phase of his military service. He speculated that he must be incredibly nervous with the military discipline by now. He compared his greetings to scheduled text messages. To soothe the fans in his absence, he committed to sending his greetings via letters on special occasions, even if they might be brief. 
of the 13th of June, 2023, he wondered about the fans' feelings. He lamented about the absence of a few members during the celebrations, expressing a sense of worry and solitude. He advised the fans to reminisce about the moments they've shared till now and enjoyed the day. Jip also requested fans to extend their love and support to the members involved in their solo activities. He expressed his gratitude and love for the fans, irrespective of the day. Moreover, in honor of Festa, Jip unveiled a rock version of Arson. Hype rejected Daegu, V and Suga's birthplace, to use the BTS members to promote the city. In commemoration of the 10th anniversary of BTS's formation, the Seoul Metropolitan Government launched a substantial initiative to illuminate several iconic city landmarks in purple, the color symbolic of the band. This tribute to BTS, a source of national pride in recent years, has spurred an influx of tourists. Many BTS fans either plan to visit or have already visited Seoul to partake in the city-wide festivities bolstering tourism. To assist foreign visitors, the city has designed a BTS-centric map guiding them to various BTS-related sites being advertised. However, media outlets report another city with similar ambitions to boost tourism. Daegu, the birthplace of BTS members Suga and V, hoped to pick tourist interest when Seoul announced its festival sponsorship for BTS's 10th anniversary. Consequently, Daegu envisaged a BTS store package revolving around two murals of Suga and V crafted by their respective fan clubs. Nonetheless, when the city contacted BTS's agency, HYBE, the firm declined the proposal to promote fan-created murals as official tourist attraction by Daegu's governmental bodies. A representative of Daegu's South District Office explained that they had contacted BTS's management through an agency that coordinates fan club events. They learned that, while the management company permitted fan clubs to produce murals, they opposed local government offices, promoting them as tourist attractions. This isn't the first time Daegu has faced such rejection from HYBE. Previously, the city government announced plans for a BTS-themed tourist route in the city. However, HYBE called for the project's cancellation due to potential violations of the band's publicity rights. One might wonder why Seoul can leverage the band's popularity but not Daegu. The primary distinction lies in BTS's status as honorary tourist ambassadors for Seoul, actively promoting the city in numerous campaigns over the years. Seoul will host the main BTS 10th anniversary festa event at Yoido Hangang Park on June the 17th. With the presence of BTS's leader RM for a live talk, a large turnout is anticipated. Conversely, while Daegu is striving to find lawful means of luring fans through BTS, the city appears satisfied with its current organic outreach. According to Daegu's Nam District office, which manages one of Suga's murals, about 10,000 people have visited the artwork since its completion last November. This mural, situated in the South District and financed by the singer's Chinese fan club has now turned into a popular destination for visiting fans. The popularity of a few K-pop groups has led to a surge in cosmetic procedures. The popularity of the celebrity New Jeans is reportedly fueling a surge in cosmetic procedures as individuals seek to emulate their appearance. As per Korea Economic Daily, the current prominence of idols is sparking an uptick in interest for plastic surgery. An anonymous 26-year-old office worker known as E has recently opted for a procedure to alter her hairline, aspiring to mimic the looks of new jeans and IBE. Specifically, hairline modification surgeries are gaining popularity for their purported ability to eliminate stray hair and refine the forehead's contour. Reports from various media sources indicate that young women, particularly those in their teens and twenties, are bringing photographs of new jeans, IVE, and Lucerapim to clinics, aiming to duplicate their sleek, fringe-free hairstyles. Due to the constraints of using cosmetics to alter the hairline, two surgical techniques have emerged for those desiring a change. However, plastic surgeons have raised concerns about the potential side effects of hairline cosmetic surgeries, stressing the importance of ensuring procedural compatibility. Aesthetic side effects can also occur, such as an unnatural doll-like appearance and hair implantation success may depend on the individual's natural hair thickness and eyebrow features. Moreover, post-operative complications can arise, including itchiness and swelling, due to the newly formed patches on the scalp from surgery. A former EXO member caused outrage after signing an album for a fan, as some people consider he has no longer the right to do so. Public reactions were mixed after the former EXO band member, Lu Han, was noticed autographing an EXO album at the fan's request. Observers noted that Lu Han, who had exited EXO several years prior and had even initiated the lawsuit against SM Entertainment, caused quite a stir by agreeing to sign the album during a public encounter. 
Some argue that given Luhan's past association with the group, autographing the EXO album might not be the most fitting act. However, other commentators quickly pointed out that Luhan was well within his rights to fulfill the fans' request, seeing no compelling reason to refuse it outright. They insisted that a rejection could have potentially been more controversial, particularly if Luhan had contributed to the album in question. Despite the mixed reactions, many were delighted to see Luhan back in the limelight after a considerable hiatus. Insiders revealed that Watch Entertainment rejected Marvel software for Danny to appear in a Marvel movie. The entertainment world has been abuzz with speculation that Blackpink's Jenny might be joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Unverified reports have circulated through various media channels, hinting that Jenny, a member of Blackpink, could potentially feature in the forthcoming Marvel series Kingdom War – New Agents of Atlas. According to these conjectures, Jenny was considered for the role of Luna Snow, whose civilian identity is all he, for this exciting new MCU venture. However, on June 12, Wedge Entertainment dismissed these rumors, stating categorically that no such role has been offered, leaving fans deflated. Contrary to this, an alleged insider from NCU, Arabic News, suggested on Twitter that the offer was in fact declined by YG Entertainment. As per this source, since September 2021, Marvel Studios and YG Entertainment have been discussing the potential casting of Jenny in a future MCU project. The insider shared that YG Entertainment remained quiet on the topic until April the 29th, hinting at Jenny's hectic schedule, which made it difficult for her to commit to multiple projects concurrently due to her intense workload. The insider further added that Marvel Studios had envisioned her in roles not only in the Agents of Atlas series, but also in upcoming Avengers films. Meanwhile, Jen is currently appearing in the HBO series The Idol, where she portrays a backup dancer named Diane.